Hey Ellen, what's up? Oh hey Luke, I'm just watching our latest D&D episode. I can't wait to find out what happens. Oh, I got something worthwhile for you. That sounds like a threat, but okay. Oh no, I'm sorry, I'm really annoyed. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. This sounds um, like a serious character mm. voice. Right, Listen, uh, I'm looking for bounty hunters. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, God. There's a fugitive wanted for crimes against Barrow Springs. He okay. robbed the local local lo 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 Excuse me one second. <laughs> Have you been drinking? Is that a dwarfish name? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but Ellen, you were there. You know what happens next. No, Luke, I wasn't. Merylwyn was. You know that I stay ruthlessly in character for the entire day when we play. Yes, well, if you... Wait, what was that? Oh, I think uh, Merylwyn tried to tame a bear when she got back to the studio. Did you say tried to tame? Well, she didn't roll very high, okay? Then she had to lock it in a cupboard. Oh no! Ellen, we need to cheese it! Well, well Ellen can cheese it, but technically Merylwyn, if she you wants to You know what? Get... I tried! I tried! Show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend! And now we know how much it costs to have a bear humanely euthanised. <laughs> No, humanely trapped and taken away. Oh, oh, sorry, I forgot what we were telling you. Yes, that's yes. The Please. bear is fine. It's bloody having it. It's on holiday. It's gone on a permanent holiday to the grave. <laughs> what happens now? Um, we talk. Oh, well, I don't know. If we don't figure out what we need to do next, we're going to be doomed. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, what I've been playing. Yeah. Okay. So, folks, no games come out in the summer. Um, no. Pff, fine, whatever. I don't even care because some games came out several summers ago. And I just played those ones again. <laughs> so I've been playing Doom, the hey. 2016 one. Hey. This, this happened because they released the, the Dooms one, two, and three on the Switch. Yeah. And I was like, well, this is far up the old nostalgia. You know, we'll play through this. I played through uh, Doom one and then thought. This is old, why don't I play one of the cool new ones where everything looks cool and sounds cool. <laughs> it was interesting going back and playing mm -hmm. Doom 1 though. But I only played the first sort of chapter, if you like, yeah. of the first game. So yeah. they kind of released different installments of it. So I only played the first one. It took about uh, an hour. Um, mm -hmm. And you know, and that was me playing it really, really terribly. I'd forgotten in Doom quite how much of the game is running around the level, gleefully killing demons. Yeah and then spending 80% of your time walking around the now like corpse filled yeah. level trying to find key cards yeah. so that you can sort of... <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. You're like, oh, hoover yeah. up some ammo, hoover yeah, up some yeah. health. The thing that I had also forgotten is that you, um, you kind of remember Doom as being, because it was like a 2D sort of sprite based shooter, that sort of everything's in front of you and your job is kind of like sort of move like sideways. Mm -hmm. I'd forgotten quite how much kind of up and down. It's a lot. There's vertical lots stuff of there is. Yeah. And when I started up, I'd completely forgotten. I was like, but you can't aim up. How am I going to shoot? And then I remembered that you just sort of line up and. You hear a And it just made me think why in modern games do we have to aim up and down? <laughs> <laughs> it's annoying. Horizontal only, please. And then ideally strip that away as well. And then strip away moving, because that takes ages. Yeah. And why don't we just watch a film? <laughs> <laughs> but I really enjoyed uh, going back to the 2016 Doom. Yeah. It just feels so fun to play. It's like you're on roller skates, but good. Yeah. This is how I imagine it would be if I could just do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gliding around. Yeah. Yeah. Foot. Yeah. There's your tongue, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> just take your jaw and then just. Oh. Uh, yeah. I think it's the only first person shooter I've ever played mm -hmm. where I actually enjoyed and felt like I could swap between a lot of weapons. Yeah, I yeah, yeah it's very flexible. I it's always good. in games just I'm like, what's the sort of default assault rifle? And then I'm just like, this is fine. Yeah. But with Doom, they really do a great job of giving you weapons that you want to switch between. And also I think they, they just do such a great job of balancing um, ammunition you get. Yes. You never have as much ammo as you want, and so you are forced to switch. Forced to switch up and it and it just it works really so well. Doom Doom is one of the like first games for a while that I opened up and was like, I want a shotgun. Because usually for me like shotgun is like last resort or yeah. like, I kind of have it and it's like yeah but I don't want to be close quarters because yeah, yeah, yeah. that's oh uh, that's stressful. But in this you're like I want to run up to that demon and just go <laughs> shotgun <you> know. straight, <laughs> straight in the nose. Yeah. <laughs> 
on the basis of these extraordinary men and women. I think from a game design point of view, it must be so difficult to build a game that rewards being aggressive. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because like, I, you can sort of wrap your head around how you would design a game where the idea was to avoid getting hit, and to avoid enemies, and to run away, and to hide. But the idea that you're in this arena, this complicated, these complicated open spaces with a load of demons, and actually you're more likely to survive if you really just sort of don't take cover, don't hide, but just keep moving and just keep always, you know. And it's hard, it's hard. I'm about to finish it, I'm really close to the end now, and mm. you know, I'm, I am dying quite a lot. I'm just playing on the regular difficulty setting, which I think is called Hurt Me Plenty. There's, there's a lot of death, but it never feels too frustrating. I always, I always find when I die, I'm like, you know what, I was panicking there. You know, I know that I can get through this if I, rem if I remember, save the rockets, don't get the power up to the end. You know, so there's a healthy amount of strategy. It's the right, it's that kind of difficulty where it's hard, you feel like a total badass, just below Dark Souls where it's hard and you feel like a sort of like snivelling baby, <laughs> uh, like the whole way through the game. And the environmental storytelling as well, I've forgotten just how good it is because obviously Doom Guy never says anything and there's very little going on, so, but they get so much character out of just the tiny cutscenes you do get. Yeah. The well, it's like the initial thing, your introduction to him is like, someone's going, look, there's this, this very bad thing that's happened. Please help out this corporation. And he mm. just goes... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think we can work together and resolve this problem in a way that benefits us both. <laughs> It's, it sets its stall out so early. Yeah. There's bits where you're kind of going to take these filters offline or something so that they can so that they can shut down the hell energy tower, but the guy in your ear, Hayden, he, he's like, okay, now you found one, now carefully remove the filters. You need to remove each lens individually. And you're just like <laughs> Carefully release the hinges. And he's like, no! <laughs> Our hell energy, do you have any idea what you've done? And I'm like, yeah! <laughs> All those like little cutscene moments are just such, such a joy. And there's so, there's so few of them. It's such spare, but such efficient storytelling. I also think Doom is one of those games that more than most video games, if someone who wasn't familiar with the medium was to like walk in on me playing it, they'd be like, this is the most horrible video game. <laughs> I've ever seen because it's so uh, red, so it, red. It's just bright red and yeah. gooey. It's and... So, it's so so violent, and yet weirdly, I think it's kind of sweet. I think there's almost like a there's like a purity to it. I think yeah. there's a directness to it, mm. and I think the game. And this is going to sound so weird, but I think the game sort of even though what you're doing is like pulling rib cages apart and breaking mm -hmm. skulls, I think the game kind of has its heart in the right place. Yeah, what is it? You're fighting demons. Yeah. And you're also sticking it to the man while yeah. you're doing it I as well. I think that's it, because, I think that's it. Because it is like you're kind of like working for this corporation, but not really, because you just want to get it fixed. Yeah, you want to stop the demons it's, and you want to stop these stupid human idiots who- From doing it again. And yeah. Yeah, it's, oh, it's the that. The greed. It's, it's, it's because like at, it, at its core, it's, a story about humans taking it one step too far yeah. and then someone having to go and clean the mess up. Our interest in their world was purely for the betterment of mankind. Everything has clearly gotten out of hand now, yes. But it was worth the risk, I assure you. I'm just realising now that this is why I Thanks to you saying that, I'm just realising now that this is why I like it so much because yeah. all of the things in fiction that I love the most are about uh, like hum humanity's hubris, hubris, like reaching yeah. too far. Hubris. Doom Guy is basically a compact Godzilla. Yeah. Yes. <gasps> yeah, that's right. That's why you like it so much. <laughs> that's why I like it so much. Uh, yeah, you know, he's 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 like a it, Doom Guy is a force. He's a force of nature. He's correcting. Yeah. He's, he's correcting, correcting the for the mistake. human for the human influence. Yeah. <laughs> You don't even like hate the demons as you're smashing no, them. No, you're just like, just, you're you know. gonna destroy everyone. The yeah. real enemy mm. is the corporation that you're working for. And the yeah. whole time you're trying to clear out their mess and go, this is 
bad, don't do this. Yeah. And like like you said, breaking the hell energy and that guy being like, no, why? Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. Did you not learn anything from all like these things? Like yeah. it's whatever this is, it's not worth it. The gameplay yeah. is fun and ridiculous. It's just yeah. But at its core, it's, it's actually pure. got something good to say. Yeah, it's uncomplicated and and quite nice. With the one exception of yeah. there are these um, floating drones around that yeah. you uh, that you find and you can power up your weapons when you find one. Right. And I don't like the way that Doom Guy hits them. When he finds them, he sort of <laughs> he finds them and he gets an upgrade and then he's like Poof. And I'm like, alright mate, it's just a drone. He's, he's had a long day. It's not hurting anyone. Yeah, he's had had a long few centuries yeah. of yeah, yeah. fighting demons forever. But yeah, a good time. Demon presence eliminated. Lockdown, I'm sorry that we haven't talked about new games in a while, but there haven't. You know, well, obviously there have been some, but I, I, you, you play what you play. And yeah, okay, there you go. That, that's that's what you have show of the weekend for. Hopefully, is to hear our opinion. <laughs> Are we interesting? <laughs> <laughs> I think we better move on to the quiz. Do stick around. Do yes. stick around. Yes. Um, because Ellen, we're uh. going to be talking about something that is upcoming. <gasps> oh no! Wait, I've just realised this is also a really old game. <laughs> <laughs> all those all those figures right now hovering over unsubscribe. Wait, let's talk about it. I'm Chris Pratt rapturing you now. Okay, clicky click, click click, click click. Don't yeah, off the subscribe button. Back in the pen. We're gonna talk about World of Warcraft Classic. It's a new mode of a game that came out in 2004. <laughs> but just right, good. One said that you can't go home again, but they lacked vision. And a temporal discombobulator. <laughs> World of Warcraft Classic is coming out in just a few weeks, Ellen, and lets you play the gigantically popular MMORPG exactly as it was back in 2006 before the launch of the game's first ever expansion. It is a long requested feature, this. WoW Classic strips away over a decade's worth of changes and new features to World of Warcraft in favour of the game as it was in the very beginning. Ellen, what's something that you think has become too complicated these days? Life. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, the week. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. Um, worrying about finances. <laughs> Um, I think is there's a lot of things that have become simpler. So, yes. traveling around London, I yeah. used to have to buy a ticket every single time I went out. Now, just beep your card. Oyster All card. Good. Oyster Brilliant. card or contactless. Brilliant, that's good. London's great. Even, YouTube. Yeah. Oh, good, yeah. Mate, yeah. I've been on this site for years. Mm. And, it's bad like, now. there's been a lot of. No, it's, it's fine. It's there is a lot of. Um, <laughs> There's some changes and stuff that I think have been good, mm -hmm. uh, but you know I'm one of those people that every single time they change it, I'm like, where are all the buttons? You move yeah. the buttons. How about Facebook? Facebook. Facebook oh yeah. my goodness. Too right, Facebook. I used to post something up there, and my university and school friends would see it, and that's it. Now I post something up there, and everyone like that I've ever worked with, that <laughs> in all my extended of, family. A lot of nefarious government agencies. Yeah. <laughs> The government agent Sorry, that's, contracted wa by government. that's watching us through our <laughs> webcams. Um. <laughs> Ellen, in WoW Classic, which is what we're talking about, yeah. nominally, players can choose from the eight original races of World of Warcraft. Humans, Dwarves, Gnomes and Night Elves for the Ooh. Alliance. And Orcs, Trolls, Tauren and the Forsaken for the Horde! Ellen, which faction would you be siding with? The Alliance. We, we, you and Jane fought over me in that live stream. And, and you I sided, sided with the Alliance. Because basically Elsa from Frozen was in, <laughs> in it. She came in on a ship and went, oh, ice. And I was like, yes, she did it's do a cool it. ship. She did do exactly And she that. made ice. She did do exactly So that. in the most recent expansion. But Sylvanas Windrunner also made something. A, a corpse army. <laughs> so... 
Can Elsa make a corpse army? Probably she can. <laughs> I think that's going to happen in the sequel. If she can control ice, human bodies are yeah. 60% water. Yeah, so freeze she all the freeze blood. everyone. Freeze all the water in a person the... and puppet, puppet like, them around. Like uh, bloodbending in Avatar. Yes! Oh, that's what's, I, yeah. Nailed on, that's happening in Frozen 2. <laughs> There's a, there's, the, the, you're seeing it now, there's a cinematic for The Wrath of the Lich King, a World of Warcraft expansion. It's got Arthas, the, the, the Lich King, and he's sort of like got an army of the dead. I can yeah. guarantee Frozen 2 yeah. this scene. Frozen 2, Elsa wants you. In her blood puppet army. <laughs> Good. Um, John's face is an absolute picture right now. World of Warcraft Classic takes you back to the fantasy land of Azeroth. Oh. But how well do you know your Warcraft lore? Let's test your wisdom with a pub quiz round that Andy devised and has kindly allowed me to borrow. World of Warcraft Thing or Heavy Metal Band? Oh, the he I love these. I love these quizzes. Ellen, is this a World of Warcraft Thing or a Heavy Metal Band? Ravenholt. Ooh, that World of Warcraft. Correct. Yeah. That is correct. Ravenholt is a World of Warcraft thing. It is a guild of thieves and assassins. Acheron. I'd say that's a wow. You'd say that's wow? Yeah. In fact, it is an American death uh, slash black metal band from Pittsburgh, uh, Pennsylvania. Acheron. Acheron. <laughs> Shendrilla. 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 If it was Shendrilla, I would say that was metal, so I'm going to say wow. Correct, it is the faction of the Night Elves remaining in Dire Maul. Orgrimmar. Orgrimmar. Or Two M's. Orgrimmar. Or Orgrimmar. Wow. Oh, sorry, I thought you were just saying wow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, correct. Yeah. Orgrimmar is the Orc capital city. Exodar. Metal. Good guess. Unfortunately, Exodar is the Draenei's enchanted capital city. <laughs> I like the fact that you said good guess and there's two options. Oh yeah, it was a bad <laughs> guess. Sorry. Sorry, that was me being optimistic. Bad guess, Ellen. <laughs> That's wrong. It's actually the Draenei's enchanted capital city. Please do that face to camera. <laughs> bad guess, Ellen. It's wrong. Tiamat. Metal. Correct. Yes. They're a Swedish band that formed in Stockholm in 1987. Carnifex. Metal. Correct. An American deathcore band from San Diego. Dimu Borgir. Wow. It's a metal band, what? a Norwegian symphonic black metal band from Oslo. Symphonic black metal. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Netherwing. Oh, that. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wow. Correct. Yes. Netherwing is a is a <laughs> faction of dragons located in Outland. I was like, it's either cool dragon stuff. Yep. Or a cool dragon band. <laughs> dragons are involved. Ramkahen. 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 Now I know Ramstein. Yep. Is it a German metal band? If it was a metal band, I'm guessing it's going to be German. Mm -hmm. Or at least German speaking. Good guess. Um, is that a good guess or a bad guess? Because it's wrong. <laughs> Metal band. The Ramkahen is one of the three clans Damn! of the Tolvir race living in Uldum, Melon. I know, it was on the tip of your tongue. Of course they're one Do of the three clans. Do they look after chickens? Uh, no, they are huge cat people. Akakok. <laughs> Come on now, Ellen. I mean, that can't be a metal band because that's too funny for a metal band. So, wow. Yeah, fair. no, it is a band. It is a band, <laughs> actually. <What>? Yep. <laughs> really? Got an English extreme metal band from London, formed in 1997. Guys, do people laugh when they announce your name? <laughs> Probably. Akakok. Falkenbach. Ooh. No, that is, Fal it's more like Falkenbach. Like, Falkenbach. Yeah, B A C H, like the composer. Falken. Also, it's not Falken, it's Falken. Falkenbach. Wow. Good guess. In fact, <laughs> they are a pagan black metal group from Germany. It's not a good guess if it's true. <laughs> now I get it wrong. Azrael. <laughs> Azrael has got to be wow. You are correct. With the caveat that it is also, also a, a black metal band. band. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I have a feeling.
feeling. I have heard of this, yeah. but I know it's in WoW. So it's well done, Ellen. I, know. I wasn't really keeping score there, but you've got some right. Ellen, one of the best things about World of Warcraft, perhaps the best thing about World of Warcraft, are the amazing cinematic mini-movies that Blizzard makes to promote Ooh, each expansion, yeah. giving a high-def look into the weird and occasionally wonderful world of Azeroth and beyond. Yeah. Ellen, let's you and I play WoW Cinematic, What Happens Next? Ellen, our first clip is from the first ever World of Warcraft cinematic, where we see a night elf in a hurry to get somewhere. Ooh. Let's, let's take a look. What happens next? I'm going to give you multiple choice options. Ooh. A, the Night Elf turns into a panther. B, the Night Elf turns into a sheep. C, the Night Elf summons a goblin motorbike and drives it up a tree. A. Let's find out if you were correct. Yeah! There we go. Oh, he's a good panther. Okay, Ellen, next up. Our next clip is from the Burning Crusade, which introduced two new races, including the Blood Elves. Mm. Here's one now. But Ellen, what happens next? A, the camera pans down to reveal a sheep who the Blood Elf pats fondly. B, the Blood Elf looks to the horizon and drinks from a goblet of orc blood. C, the Blood Elf drains the floaty dragon of its life force. C, why are you putting sheep in every question? <laughs> are they in every question? In the last one. Let's find out if you were correct. Right. Poor floaty see-through eel dragon they're thing. Not, they're not mucking around this lot. A much later cinematic sees a human and orc locked in mortal combat. Mm -hmm. The orc kills the human who is actually the king of Azeroth, plunging the kingdom into war. B. Seeing the fight escalate, a farmer hurries his flock of sheep into a barn. One of the sheep looks at the camera as if to say, oh boy. <laughs> or C. Both warriors are defeated easily by a martial arts panda. <laughs> I want it to be B, but it's A. Let's find out if you're correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was thinking about Kung, Kung Fu Panda, lol. Yeah, Kung Fu Panda, they've never put Kung Fu Panda in World of Warcraft. How wrong you are, they could They flew in did. They did exactly they that thing. They anybody did it. They did exactly that thing. Oh my goodness. Wow, that panda's not mucking around. No. <laughs> Oh, what a good panda. What a good panda. This mid-game cinematic is taken from the latest World of Warcraft expansion, Battle for Azeroth. Oh yeah. Princess Talanji and her new horde companions must outrun the Alliance ships closely in pursuit if they want to arrive safely in Zandalar. Mm. How do they escape? We need cover! Head for that fog bank! A. They escape by summoning the spirit of a wind god who blows the ship to safety. B. They escape by summoning the spirit of a dinosaur god who headbutts the ship to safety. C. By turning every Alliance sailor into a sheep. <laughs> I think it is actually B, from what I remember. Hey! Yeah! That's right. This Burning Crusade cinematic sees powerful Warcraft warriors using all manner of magic. Mm -hmm. But what spell are we about to see a mage cast? Ooh. A. 
Frostbolt, a powerful ice spell. B, Polymorph, a powerful sheep spell. Or C, Arcane Missiles, a powerful triple blast of magic energy. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say B. It's not right, but I think it'd be funny. Yes! <laughs> 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 I knew it was leading to something! I knew it! Well done, Ellen. I think you have proved yourself a World of Warcraft expert. Yay. The only question that you really got seriously wrong was the one about the Horde or the Alliance. It was just, <laughs> uh, yeah, so that is minus a million points, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Now that we know all about World of Warcraft Classic. Yeah. From 2004 to 2006. <laughs> it's time to find out what you guys have been finding out about. In the, the comments. comments! Last week on the channel, we jumped back in time to look at games that had very irresponsible uses of time travel, including Titanfall 2's wrist-mounted device. Basically, we used the unlimited potential of time travel to punch someone in the head when they weren't looking, which honestly didn't feel very heroic. Where is he? What kind of jerk would do that? <laughs> ah! Okay, I deserve that. There were a lot of questions in the comments regarding Mike's time jump, including one from commenter AJXSJS who said, So, Jane finally got her time machine working and either Mike found it or she's using him to test it. Oh, he was testing it, but seeing as he just used it to go back in time and slap himself, uh, Jane asked me to test her new prototype. What? No fair! L Luke, she wasn't going to give it to you. All you do is dangerous things like try and go see dinosaurs. Oh, no, I suppose you'd be more responsible. Uh, yeah, I will. Watch this. Uh, hello? Did you just go and get a chocolate bar? Uh, I think you find I paid 5p for a Freddo. How far back did you have to travel? Very far. Elsewhere, we had a special birthday live stream for Outside Xbox's seventh birthday, where we played Smash Brothers, surrounded by lots of party paraphernalia, and joined by no longer time-travelling Xboxer Mike. Mike, a little birdie told me right. that you're a birthday boy today. <laughs> well, outside Xbox is, of which I'm a part. Outside Xbox is the birthday boy. Yes. And all you'll, girls. You'll note a cake there. There it is. Which we'll be cracking into Ooh. on the outside Xbox stream a bit later on. That's right. Um, yeah. It's Chekhov's cake. But the balloons are already in, in action. Yeah. Essentially. As you can see. Just get some microphone sound on that. Ooh. Ooh. That's like the that's like the that's like the opposite of ASMR. That's Ooh. like yeah. And we lost everyone. <laughs> Dislike Spike. Don't you eat that cake until later. The commenter Otter in my water had some things to say about our behaviour, Luke. Don't know why they call Outside Extra the sister channel when Luke and Ellen are clearly the children in the oh so dysfunctional Oxbox family. <laughs> Uh, look, right, we didn't eat the cake until we were allowed to. We were very well behaved and ran on in the Oxbox stream later to get a slice. Yay! Yay! Minimal spit on the cake. We did it! We made it, guys! Look who it is, everybody! Yeah! All right. Oh, they come when there's cake. Oh, oh the yeah. will smell good. See them? All right. Here comes the reveal. Here comes the reveal. Oh! Yay! 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 On tiger plates Cake, as well. cake, cake. We always make time for cake. Wait, stop. Don't you use that to go and get cake. <sighs> Fine. Also on the channel. I was back on the purple sofa for the first time in a blue moon and quizzed Luke on control and all things remedy as I got Luke to guess which quantum break easter eggs were true or false. There it is. Say again what you did, Ellen. <laughs> Instead of night springs, I put night wings. <laughs> That's it. I can feel about that, Luke. I got Ellen on the first one back, absolutely outrageous. Lots of you enjoyed the Elloning, including Dustin Brandewey, who said, I think we need more close-up reactions to Ellenings. That level of smugness is a powerful force. It is. In fact, it's how Jane's powering the device. What? So I don't get to see dinosaurs and this thing's powered by me getting ellen all the time? And that's it. Charged up for another few hops. Oh, thanks, Luke. I'll get you some Space Raiders from 1995. Put those down, 1995. Ellen. 1995. Do you know how dull it was back uh, look, then? I will have many, many of them later, but you're going to get crisp dust all over the art. And don't you want to see some art? Fine. Yes. Check this out from Fitzbunny. 
Look at that. It's oh based, my goodness. Based off of the show of the weekend where last we week. were talking about last week. Gosh. Two Kit Kats Luke. Two Kit Kats Luke. Sometimes you do Kit Kats Luke. Sometimes, Sometimes you know Kit Kats, no Kit Kats Luke. The universe giveth no. and taketh away. I love the expressions. Yeah. And like, just, just me being supportive. Like, yay! Oh. <laughs> I, yeah, I believe I believe the full human experience is yes. contained within this yeah. art, and I absolutely love I it. I like the joy and the despair, very very much like life. Oh, I prefer the joy, personally. <laughs> but check this out, Ellen. Gorka Fuji on Instagram. Oh my goodness! Sent the amazing collection that is just, of D and D and D pictures. Wow! Look at there's so wow. there's so many details. We don't have time to get into everything, but maybe just a few highlights. Oh, but the highlights. Um, just just Egbert looking adorable. I like the shield jump Egbert as well. Yeah, I like that's it's really very good. aerial part of your world. Like. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Um, and the Prudence, huge dent in the shield as yeah, well. Yeah, huge the dent in the explosion. shield. Yeah. And then like Prudence looks amazing. Mm -hmm. I love Corazon conjuring the sandwiches. Yeah. Um, Meryl when like there's the two like toys that are using to, 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 to be like I'm a cat or a bear. Mm -hmm. And then also just the hand on the spikes. Yeah. <laughs> Meat grinder. Uh -huh. Just the um, just the, the art style. I it's think so is, it's good. I love the really color, color scheme of Dob. It's like slightly different. Yeah, so it's like very like bright, jestery colored. Maximum court jester. Yeah, I like yeah. it. I even like, dare I say, the uh, unconventional mortar that's being used in whatever. Yeah. Stone. Yeah. Like, yeah. Holding together these stones. I love, I love the uh, Cthulhu -y tentacles coming out of Jane's book. Uh, Prudence's book. The baddies that we fought. The baddies. Just yeah. the little collection of them. It's so good. It's really um, rad. Uh, Johnny himself said that he absolutely loves the skeleton. Oh yeah. Pixar, call us. Because we already have great ideas for Frozen 2. Yeah. And, <laughs> and now this. <laughs> Taking things in a new direction. Pixar didn't make Frozen. Well, Pixar, if you want to, <laughs> if you want to compete, right? You need to get. Yeah. If you want to get on the yeah. level, call of the us. The other Disney animation call studios. Us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they've been killing it. Yeah. You need us. Literally, need to... with their zombie army. Yeah. <laughs> you need to make an ultra violent fox venture. <laughs> Venture Pixar. That'll show them at Disney. Yeah. We know there's bad blood, let's not pretend. <laughs> bad frozen blood. Oh no. What a <laughs> well, we've come to the end of another show of the weekend. Yeah. And what a time we've had. I don't remember it. We. What did we do? It's quite a long time ago now. Yeah. Uh, we talked about World of Warcraft. I'm going to go back in time. No! And then I'll go and see. Don't you dare leave that time travel device alone. Okay. You. God, absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. When I was space raid, I never saw any of these promised space oh, raiders. Space raiders? Well. What you did not? You said no, thank you. No, there's something about you offering me <laughs> them with that like gloved hand. That, uh, I'm, They're not poison. I'm just finding it. It's like, fine. The aesthetic of this is just no. I don't want one anymore. No. It's in a, no, it's, I remember. I remember the <laughs> the leather glove. I'm, I'm, Thank you folks for watching. Um, come see us do D D live. Yes. Details are in the description and the link is on the screen now. Yeah, and our uh, current adventure is uh, live. The yes. first episode is now live That's on right. the channel. That's right, do check that out mm. if you have not already. Uh, but for now, I suppose it's goodbye from me. Yeah. And goodbye from Ellen. Yeah. Uh, hang on, let me send you. Where, where get, wait, no, no, Luke, you gotta, no, Hope no. Hope you like the plague. No! <laughs>